A herniated disc is one of the most common spinal diseases that can lead to mild to severe pain in your neck or back. There are 24 vertebrae in the spine. These vertebrae are connected by several joints, which allow you to bend, twist, carry loads, and absorb shock. The main joint is a flexible cushion between two vertebrae called an intervertebral disc. The intervertebral disc is comprised of a soft gelatinous center surrounded by a tough outer wall. When the gelatinous core pushes out through a tear in the fibrous wall, the disc herniates, adding pressure to the surrounding spinal nerves, which causes pain. A herniated disc may be caused by simple wear and tear from repeated movement over time or disc degeneration. With age, spinal discs lose some of their water content, making it difficult to support the load from the above vertebrae. Other causes of a herniated disc may include long-standing trauma, stress fractures, congenital abnormalities. While it is possible for an intervertebral disc to herniate at any level of the spine, it most commonly occurs in the lumbar region or lower back. Symptoms include pain at the site of the injury, pain, numbness, weakness, or tingling in the arms or legs, pain that worsens when bending, twisting, and or sitting, muscle spasms. If the herniated disc is located in the cervical spine or neck, other symptoms may include loss of bladder control, loss of coordination, a heavy feeling in the limbs, trouble balancing. If you feel you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you should see a physician for an accurate diagnosis. If a herniated disc is established as the diagnosis, your doctor may recommend one or more of the following treatments based on your individual condition. If your symptoms do not improve with other methods, your physician may suggest spinal surgery. Surgical solutions for a herniated disc may include the following. 